Well, today is a brand new day, and all I've had to eat so far today is my uh, breakfast bar, and I rode an hour on the elliptical, um, sat in the steam room for five minutes. I was going to swim for about 20 minutes, because that's usually what I do, but the place that I go, the pool is just always jacked up, and it's just, it was cold. It was just too cold. They have, they either have the air blowing, like freezing cold air, where the pool is, or the pool temperature itself is too cold, so I didn't go swimming. But I did total up my calories for the day because I already know what I'm going to eat for lunch and supper, and I know that um, just my day is already planned out, so I did good. I'm only like 10 calories under for the day, so I'm actually under instead of over. Yesterday, oh my gosh, tilt, tilt, it was all in red on my phone. The, um, the, the, um, diet, the, um, lose it app on my phone. It was just all in red yesterday because it was just, like, off the charts. But I'm glad that, um, I'm able to sometimes binge and be freaky with food and emotions. And then the very next day I can be, I can be back on track again. I don't know how I do it. But tomorrow I'm going with, uh, my friend who y'all already know about. Um, the one I talk about all the time. We're going to go um, eat tomorrow night. He always takes me to eat all the time. It just will never allow me to pay for anything. And so tomorrow I told him I'm going to buy his dinner. And um, he's going to finally let me do that. So I'm actually going to take him out to dinner tomorrow night. So tomorrow is starve day. I'm going to starve my butt off. And um, exercise and everything. So tomorrow night. Maybe we'll just even have salads tomorrow night. I don't know. But, um, anyway, I've got this, um, health condition that I am not going to, um, talk about, but it's very painful and, um, I'm having a hard time with it today. And, um, what else is going on? My daughter's boyfriend lives down in Waco. We live in Fort Worth, a suburb of Fort Worth. He lives in Waco, which is about two hours away. He is a school teacher, and he's crazy about Paige, just crazy about her. So I'm going to try to get him in a video today, if I can, get those kids in the video. They're real cute together. They've been dating for about a month, I think. Not even quite a month yet, but, you know, they're he's pretty gaga over her. So they're out right now eating Mexican food, and I'm going to threaten her with her life that she better not bring any leftovers home. Um, I don't really know what else to talk about. I feel like I haven't made very many videos, so there should be some, like, all kinds of things to say and talk about, but, um, I don't really know what to talk about. I need an eyebrow wax real bad, which I was talking about six months ago, so I hadn't done it. Um, I could probably use a lip wax, too. That wouldn't hurt my feelings any. I have one of those done. Um. Mm, my hair color is not doing good. I need to get more of that. Um, mm, I still have not heard from the job. I thought for sure they would call me yesterday. They didn't. So then I thought for sure they'd call me today. Today's Saturday. They still haven't called me. And they do make calls on Saturdays, but they haven't called me. And But I'm thinking surely they're going to hire me because they sent me for a drug test. Most companies, if they're going to do that and pay for a drug test, then... You know, you got the job, right? I would think so. Um, today on the menu, I'm having, I'm going to start doing this too, if I can remember, whenever I can. I'm going to try to remember to tell you what I'm eating. I'm, this is really kind of weird, but I had my breakfast bar this morning, which is 180 calories, and it's a special K breakfast bar. I like the chocolate peanut butter kind. So that's what I have every day of my life, just about, except for yesterday when I had four eggs and three pieces of toast. But, so I had my breakfast bar this morning. I'm feeling really lightheaded right now. I'm feeling dizzy, which is just an old, familiar feeling, because that's what I went through when I lost weight. I guess that's the only way I can lose weight is to feel like that. Seems like that's just what it takes for me to lose weight is when I'm walking into walls and being dizzy. But anyway, I had that for lunch. I'm going to have an apple and an orange. 
which is already past lunch time right now. Actually, what time is it? It's three o'clock, what, three something now. So I'm gonna have an apple and an orange. At six o'clock, which is what time I eat supper, I'm gonna have, huh? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna have this Weight Watchers Smart Ones pepperoni pizza. Can you see that? Can you see me and the pizza? Anyway, I'm going to have, the, each one of these have, oh no, my glasses. You'd think I'd know this because I've been eating these for the last year and a half. You'd think I'd remember. Now if I can get my butt up on this counter again. Woo! Alright. There. You'd think I'd remember how many calories it has. I think it has 310 calories, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm going to have three of those tonight for supper. So, I put it into my phone, and I did a little arithmetic, and um, so I'm going to have my breakfast bar, an apple and an orange, and then three pizzas. And then tonight, I'm going to have my little, pepper, my little um, Tootsie Pop and my three coffees, and a Oh, you know what else I'm going to have here in a minute? I'm going to have one pickle wedge, a dill pickle wedge, which is five calories. So I'm going to be under by five or eight or whatever calories it is at the end of the day. That's what I'm going to be under, and I'll be in the green. So I'm happy about that. Um, I passed a Baskin Robbins while ago when I was uh, coming home from the gym. And, oh my gosh, I could feel myself salivating. And then I thought to myself, oh, and I passed a Wendy's, a Chick-fil-A. Uh, what else did I pass? A McDonald's, uh, a Jack in the Box, uh, a barbecue place, a country cooking type place. Uh, oh my gosh, there's like, oh, a taco, a couple of different taco places. Taco Bell, Taco Bueno, Whataburger. All of those places are between me and the the gym and it was just like oh my gosh you know I was about to die it, it, sometimes it's just really difficult it's really really difficult sometimes there's another way I could probably go where I wouldn't have to see all of those places maybe just half of those places but when I looked at the Baskin Robbins today I said to myself that Baskin Robbins sign, just to me, is just going to represent fat. So I looked at it in a whole new way, in a way that I don't normally look at it. Usually I look at it like I'm just longing for it, you know. But I looked at it and I was like, no, that's just a bad, you know, a bad symbol to see that sign. And then, of course, I see these skinny people skipping out of the front door with ice creams thinking, I, I just felt like running them over, but, ugh, man, oh man. So, anyway, um, nothing else is new. I'm just sitting here rambling on and on, which I'm so good at. Nothing's new in my life. I'm waiting to hear about that job, and um, hoping every day is not a binge day. That's about what's going on with me right now. So I'm going to sign off and just um, please remember and never forget, fat ain't groovy.